Hi everyone, this is Stephanie with Marcate. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a reoccurring work order. To begin, you can press this blue plus button and go into reoccurring work orders, or you can always go into sales and then work orders, and then from the left menu, press reoccurring work orders. So this is going to show you any reoccurring work order that you've created. And then if you press this text, you can also see what is active and what is stopped. Currently, we're just going to press this new reoccurring work order and begin. And to start, you're just going to fill out all of this information as you normally would. And then as you scroll down and assign this to somebody, you can see schedule work order. And then you get the opportunity to go ahead and create a reoccurring work order. So this will repeat daily, weekly, or monthly, every one to 30 days, weeks, or months. And then once you have that set, you're just gonna make sure that you can either choose when it ends, so never, on a specific date or after a specific number of work orders. So what we're doing right now is creating a blueprint for all of the work orders moving forward. So once this information is set, you can go ahead and save. So now we have all of this information here on the work order. Moving forward, the next work order is going to be on this date with this work order number. When this work order number is active, so March 3rd, the next work order in line is going to be active um, immediately once this one is active. If you need to edit any of this information, you're just going into the reoccurring work order, and then you can go ahead and edit this specific blueprint on how you will move forward. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.